हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास आई एम योगिता आर सब्जेक्ट इज सी एन ई टी नर्सिंग एजुकेशन फॉर नर्सेस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोजेक्टेड एड्स इन दैट ओवर हेड प्रोजेक्ट ओ एच पी नाउ स्टूडेंट्स डेफिनेटली यू मट सीन दिस इन योर कॉलेज और योर स्कूल बिकॉज इट्स रूटीनली यूज इन नर्सिंग टीचिंग प्रोग्राम नाउ ओ एच पी इज वेर इट्स अ प्रिपेर्ड मेटीरियल ऑन ट्रांसपेरेंसी पेपर इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ प्रोजेक्टर एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी आर प्रोजेक्टिंग इट ऑन अ वॉल और माउंटेड स्क्रीन नाउ दैट इज वॉट कॉल्ड ओवर हेड प्रोजेक्टर नाउ डेफिनेटली दिस प्रोजेक्टर हैज गॉट सम कॉन्क्यू मिरर सम टॉप ग्लास फैन बल्ब इन साइड सी दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ दिस ओ एच पी प्रोजेक्टर see i don't have a material but i think you can see it here this is a ohp projector where this will be the bulb you have to switch on and you have to place the transparency paper here this is the mirror which you are going to adjust so that it will project the see with the help of projector it will project it on a mounted wall this is called ohp overhead projector <laughs> i don't have any ohp ohp here i hope now with the help of this picture you got some idea exactly what is this ohp is now now let me explain about the ohp projector now it is a small box kind of material so you are you are seen now a kind of box inside that you can see a bulb 1000 volt bulb along with it we can also see one fan this fan will help to uh, reduce the heat it it help to cool this projector now it also got top it is a glass made up of glass where you are placing your transparency paper along with that it also have some concave mirror while adjusting this mirror there is a knob in that stand when you adjust the knob you can adjust the mirror when you adjust whatever you wrote here that is projected on a wall that can be adjusted so that everyone can have a look what you have written okay this is how about the projector now about the transparency paper how you are writing now when you are writing it on a transparency paper you need to maintain a border you need to write one 6 to 8 sentence in one transparency paper one transparency paper carry one concept you are not supposed to make so many content your uh, ideas in one sheet so that students get confused also a neat handwriting as well as well you need to make one minute okay as well you need to maintain good handwriting and selection of color is really very important why because you can use red to highlight don't use purple because it is not so a uh, clear or oh, what is that view now when you write you need to focus your grammar what you written you are not supposed to use any spoken language as well you can use uh, simple sentences and no spelling mistake a very good handwriting okay you can also draw some picture diagram in a transparent paper now in case if you are not a good artist if you are not able to draw then you can trace the picture from the book yeah any material whatever you are having you can copy the picture then you you need to maintain you know you do the maintenance of this transparency paper now how you are using this ohp projector in a class now you bring the ohp projector which is really lightweight and easy to transfer place on a table and you keep the screen ya yeah, mounting screen ya yeah, wall which is arranged it exactly how all the class can have a good view socket that plug you have to put it into a socket and switch on before you switch on you keep the transparency paper over the glass top then switch on whatever you wrote on the transparency paper is projecting on the wall now with the help of knob you adjust the mirror so that you can uh, clearly visible clearly see what you written now those are sitting in the back they can easily have a view of your content with a naked eye because these materials are projected on the wall now now you on it and you present your content very good, very important aspect you no need to darken the room like a slide project with the light presence of light you can make use of it then now when you're presenting teacher no need to turn to the board she can focus to the audience and she can speak a uh, very important 
यू आर नॉट सपोज टू कीप इट ऑन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बिकॉज बल्ब में डैमेज दैट्स वाई ईच फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स यू नीड टू स्विच ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्टर सो दैट वी कैन हैव अ लेंथी लाइफ ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्टर दैट्स हाउ वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्टर नाउ वंस यू प्रिपेयर वन कॉन्सेप्ट यू टर्न ऑफ रिप्लेस द ट्रांसपेरेंसी शीट and place the new sheet arrange the alignment everything then you switch on when the bulb is on you are not supposed to put your hand in between and change the sheet that that's not the principle of using this ohp so this is the way that how you can make use of this ohp now a maintenance of your ohp your ohp transparency transparency sheet how you are doing now this ohp projector If it is not in use, you cover it with the cloth bag or whatever, so that it is not get dusted. Now, before you use, you dust it so that your lens, lens or your glass top may be free from all the dust. If it is not used for a long time, in in between, you need to dust it and you need to keep it clean. Also, you see that a socket, a plug point, all things are working properly. because any voltage issue or any other electrical problem may damage the bulb and you keep it in a safe place so that a students may not do any hard handling or rough handling of this materials now the care of your transparency paper once it is prepared then definitely it is so economic to you that you can make a repeated use of that so once it is prepared you prepare it keep it in the folder so that it is not get damaged so you can make a reuse of your transparency paper also you take all the measures to prepare this Uh, transparency paper make a border line write 6 to 8 sentences you can draw a neat picture clear handwriting all the precautionary measures you must take so that your um, av8 should be so perfect so that all the students get benefit because of that now what are the advantages of over overhead projector see we can uh, present all the concept in a sequence wise with the help of ohp we can attend to we can make the classroom is so lively that students can see the things they can hear what the teacher is telling and definitely they will they are able to improve their level of knowledge we can have a good communication one who is preparing they are taking time to prepare that they will improve their level of communication their language vocabulary will be improve they can improve their level of creativity a students are able to use their sense organs to learn because they can see the things they can see a different pictures which they cannot imagine which they cannot make an imagination so that that they can see now definitely teacher will have a continuity in her class because she is also using this projector to project some things and explain so this will be a additionally information so that students can read and take down some notes but definitely we don't require any dark room anywhere we can use it only thing is that we need a electric supply as well as some place to project or mount this screen now uh, even a teacher know a little uh, bit of like techniques how to make use of it definitely all the fresher teacher also can make use of this ohp projector in our classroom teaching now the disadvantage is storage is difficult where do you store it may get dust and uh, rough handling may damage or else you are not turn off the bulb once in each 10 yeah 15 maximum 5 to 10 minutes then bulb may get damage transparency paper you are not storing properly you are not numbering you are not preserving then definitely you are not able to use it once again and one more thing if it is broken then definitely it is quite expensive replacing yeah buying buying new will be a uh, hard for the teacher as well as to the students so this is the disadvantages of overhead projector students i hope you understood because you may get a question directly right about ohp overhead projector then you need to write all these things you need to write about the definition you write the parts if possible draw the diagram of this ohp projector and write about the guidelines of this projector guidelines of preparing a transparency paper and the measures that how you are using it in your classroom then definitely you can write about advantage and disadvantage I hope you understood and some more things to learn I know that you'll be watching and you'll uh, you'll catch me in the next class so that you will be yes good in all the topics uh, thank you all and I'll see you in the next class